Kisses on the regular. That's the dream. A dream I hope to achieve today. You're probably gonna mess it up. Yeah, probably. What? For who could ever learn to love oh, no. this beast? What? I'm a jacked swole beast. No. Who's getting kisses on the rest? Let's just play. Yes. Finally a dating sim just for me. Uh-huh. I'm guaranteed a smooch. Like, is your name? Yeah. Who could resist? Oh, look at that. Yes, uh, I go by Choo Choo. <laughs> World Breaking Hello. News. I'm Brevity Ormez, and this is my co host, Lucky Cole, with World Breaking News. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ramon and was my world, and the news is that we broke up. Aww. Uh, okay, Lucky, I'm really sorry to hear that. Is there anything oh. going on in the world? Oh, well, a colossal creature has appeared near the North Pole. Oh, okay. Now, are you bringing up Taikaiju to deflect from addressing your breakup? Yeah. No, he's terrorizing and murdering innocent people. But, you know, he's also a significant story. You may have buried the lead there. <sighs> like Ramon Mar buried my heart. Uh, Blood-covered shovel. Let's go to satellite footage. <sighs> are you hiding your feelings behind satellite footage? Yes, and I also wanted to show Kikachu moving. Via the keyboard or controller. Aww. It's healthy to cry, Lucky. Uh, Not on TV, it isn't brevity. Let's please try to be professional here. I never should have brought it up. Oh, I'm frolicking. Like it's nothing. Hey, are you dateable? Oh, you look hot. She's like the first one you saw. I know, but oh, look at you. Oh, kind of hot. Oh, boy. I'm not picky. Mmm. Maybe I am picky. I don't want Birdman. <laughs> Th I don't. I don't need three. I don't need three. It's very, very. Could have caused a lot of conflict. Is it turtle? He looks so unhappy. I'm leaning towards mermaid. All right, try it. Give it. A no wait. Nope, nope. I'm doing it. Uh, 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 uh. I can run it all this way. I wanted you first. Oh. I think she saw you. A voluptuous volcanic vixen is venting a vortex of lava all over the South Pacific. Mm. Oh boy. The naming of the mountain maiden has been hotly contested, but the moniker favored by Pacific Island volcanologists is Tefra. Uh. Hey, Tuffy. Gigachu has engaged Tefra in a global geological survey. That's putting it nicely. Wow. Oh, wait, what? Uh, oh no. All locked up. Yeah, I just realized I don't know what I'm doing. Do we take her on a date? I guess that's what we do. All right. Oh. Gigachu's burning passion meets Tefra's molten magma at the Statue of Liberty. Let's mm. kill it. What has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Statue of Liberty? They're not bullying it, they're destroying it. There's a language of love in the leveling of landmarks, Lucky. Can each strike communicate commandability? Uh-huh. <laughs> What you talking about, Brevity? Are you suggesting that Kaiju are wooed by wanton destruction? Yes. Indeed, and Tefra is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I will try to narrate the date as we go live at the scene. Nice. <laughs> Does Gigachu come here often? All the time! <laughs> She's lost a lot of limbs. They will share the pleasure of familiar destruction together. Mm -hmm. How's Gigachu feeling? Uh, sweaty. Oh good, she is too. <laughs> Tefra hopes Gigachu can handle her intensity. Wow. Well, yeah. Is this Gigachu's first time dating a volcano? Uh, you know, actually it is. Oh, she's into it. She's grateful. It's a low volcano count. Oh no. Tefra's flattered to be Gigachu's first. I, I guess I was wrong. Tefra wants to know how for, what first attracted Gigachu to her. Smoky eyes, hot body, billowing. Tr I want to say hot body because it's funny, but billowing tresses. Oh, she was she's fine with that. Uh. Maybe she wanted the hot body. Tefra's flowing locks stream across her face as if to hide a longing for something more. Wait, like serious? I thought this game was about smooches. Does Gigachu like the Statue of Liberty? I do not. Thank goodness we've destroyed it. There's nothing left! 
No Statue of Liberty will stand between their love. Sure. <laughs> Does Gigachu kiss on the first date? <laughs> He does indeed! Oh, thank god she does too. Oh, this is gonna be great. And there we go. They're heating up. Come on. Just yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so easy! Oh, I won. Wait, I don't, I don't think he won. Nope, I won. He just got like a little bit of a meter. All I wanted was a kiss. I don't, I don't want to keep what unlocked. Her name. Cool! <laughs> nice! So with every kiss, I unlock a little bit more info? I guess. Now what? Oh! Space Needle! Oh well, yeah! Let's go to Seattle. Let's go to the Pacific Science Center. <laughs> Brevity, do you know the number one question on our viewer's mind? Uh, why we're romanticizing monsters destroying the world? Does Gigachu poop? No. No, no that's number two. Oh, okay. God. The question that is intriguing our audience is how are you so in tune with the intentions of these kaiju? Are you yourself a kaiju? Uh, no, I'm just uh, <laughs> projecting. Oh, that's very sad. Uh, you speak kaiju? No, it's called listening to the heart. It's called having empathy lucky, and if you had some, maybe your boyfriend wouldn't have left you. Oh my God, we are live on TV. What are you doing, Brevity? Oh. <laughs> I'm just fed up with you, Lucky. I'm actually not a huge fan of yours, and I think you're very unprofessional the way you talk about your relationships on the air. Look at that. <laughs> Is Gigachu theatrical? I would say I am! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know, let's just destroy the Space Needle. They share a flair for the dramatic. You know, I used to have an apartment at Capitol Hill. Uh huh. Has you been more affected by positive than negative experiences? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. No. Oh, same with her. Drama bonding over destroying the space NATO. Tefra has turned pressure into diamonds. Using nothing but her butt. Oh. Is Gigachu into ornamentation? Uh. A little, but not really. Yeah, she's she's fine with that. A oh. couple of smacks. Tefra doesn't like to overcomplicate things, mm -hmm. but she does like lots of fancy, glimmering jewelry. Is Gigachu into tattoos? Uh, sure. Oh, you got tattoos? Well, she would, but they keep melting off her skin. Gigachu approves of Tefra's tats. Oh, it's a lot of line work. I see it now. Is Gigachu affectionate? I am indeed. If she's not, then we're, we're screwed. I'm doing this for the kisses! I did it all for the kisses, so you can take your misses. And their passion burns equally as hot. Oh yes, one more. One more. Bring it in. Oh. Overshoot and settle straight into that smooch. All right. Oh, one more date, and I swear we'll get to a real good kiss. Unlock more info? We did not. All right. Now what? I don't know. I'm really knocking this out of the park. Yeah, you're doing a lot better than I uh, would have guessed. What is that supposed to mean? Just saying. Oh, do we dare take Fire Girl to a cold mountain? Uh, would that be considered a bad date? I don't know. I'm nervous about it. I don't want to blow this. Let's let's kill old white men. Yeah! World breaking. Oh. Brevity, I think I'm getting the hang of this uh, news anchoring oh. stuff. Oh boy, Lucky, it's been five years. You're oh. supposed to have understood the mission by now. Ah, uh, since that was a great date. Was it the kiss, you absolute clod? <laughs> it, it was the kiss, actually, yeah. Brevity, do Kaiju like the landmarks that they elect to level? No. Yes. What about the landmarks they dislike? They also level them. Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Brevity, you talk in riddles. Tell that to my barista. She is constantly oh. sticking her tongue in my mouth. What? I don't know. Me and my girl destroying the world all because we're in love. Yes, I'm very artistic. Well, she did not say artistic. 
Oh. Though an advocate of aesthetic response, Tefra erupted over the idea that nature is without intention. Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I do dream. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Yes! So long, Washington. And the others. <laughs> Gigachu has steamy dreams of Tefra. Is Gigachu into fitness? Uh, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, honey. I'm not. <sighs> Gigachu should at least like hiking if Chu's gonna date a mountain. That makes no sense. Mountains do not move. But I would for you. Does Gigachu dance? Uh, well, uh, no, I don't, honey. Uh-oh. Tefra isn't afraid to dance by herself. Yeah. Just as long as she doesn't dance like nobody's watching. I am musical. There we go. GD, Tefra, you're really... I'm an artist. I can't be everything. Both love to rock, roll, and spit rhymes. Mm. How's Gigi you feel about wood? I have some. <laughs> no. No. Well, it doesn't matter what she was actually asking. It's all right there, and it worked out. Both like to watch it burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, because she's fiery. Tefra wants to know what most attracts Gigi to her. Courage, hot body, temperance. Your courage. I like that. <laughs> Gigachu is entranced by Tefra's strong will and zest for life. Uh -huh. When I'm around, you'll never have to dance like nobody's watching. Because I'll always watch you. Better not be a hug. Yes! Full on kiss! But will the meter fill up all the way? I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. I did it! No! <laughs> Uh, she likes fire, baking, and consistency. She does not like passive passivity, uncertainty, and the paparazzi. Uh, that's crazy. I don't like those things either, but and also gardening. <laughs> All right. You just keep going, huh? Well, let's just see how far I can take this girl. Let's, let's, let's take her to the frozen. Now, now I might be self-sabotaging this relationship. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. We have a special interview with Major Panjandrum. Panjandrum? Thank you for having me on. A good evening, sir. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Uh, we will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh, uh, how can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? By introducing a sexy mech. Well, we wouldn't want this information getting to the hands of the enemy. Well, I don't think the, of the kaiju as the enemies. Yeah. Also, they're not watching our network station. And I don't think kaiju oh, watches our program, because not one has paid me a visit yet. What are you saying? I'm sexy. I suppose it'll be alright to declassify little. <laughs> our strategically placed artillery will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic oh. landmarks. Tiparachu doesn't mind dancing in the rain at Mount Sidley. What? I must go! <laughs> and we must go live to the scene. Let's do this. Don't worry, my lady. I'll protect you from the cold. What is Gigachu's diet like? Uh huh. It's nuked. <laughs> oh, thank God. She's also low maintenance. Hot pockets and Totino's pizza rolls. <laughs> Breakfast and dinner. <laughs> which, which for which? Doesn't matter. Both radiate intense heat from excised atoms. Is Gigachu moved by domes? I'm not. I don't know what a dome is. Yeah, I don't know what that was. We don't like spherical things. Doesn't matter to Gigachu, the Tefra has blown her dome. You mean like a shaved head? I do love your hair. Is Gigachu popular? You know, <laughs> you know I'm not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was really laying it all on the line there. They crash only the smallest venues. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Oh, you know it, baby. Why would I say no? Let's do it. They both know that it takes pressure to make diamonds and keep the blood pumping. I don't know. Something about the words diamond and blood in the same sentence feels weird. It uh, doesn't matter. So many smooches. Yeah, you're really on a roll. Oh, dear. 
We gotta keep going. We gotta get this rocking.